Final story today, President Joe Biden has delayed the public release of thousands of documents that could reveal new details about the 1963 assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Now, Biden says postponement is necessary to protect military defense, intelligence operations, law enforcement, or foreign relations, and that doing so outweighs the public interest in disclosure. He says the delay is temporary and that more time is needed to conduct a declassification review, as if all the time that's gone by already isn't enough. Jesse, I know you have a lot to say. I did this story for you. Sound off. <laughs> this is laughable. This is utterly laughable from the president. More time? It's been nearly 60 years those documents have been locked up and they need more time. Brigitte, I'm gonna tell it like it is. Jesse Ventura is known to tell it like it is. Here's the deal. They're waiting for everyone who was alive during President Kennedy's assassination to be dead. That's obviously what's left. I was 12 years old in seventh grade when John F. Kennedy was murdered. I'm now 70 years old and I'm still griping to see the evidence. They're waiting for people like me to die so that everybody will be dead and gone and then they can write history the way they want to. What this is all about is simply our country and our government not acknowledging that a coup d'etat took place January, or November 22nd, 1963, and that our government was changed with a bullet instead of a ballot. And they will not admit to this. They will never admit to it until everybody who was alive, apparently, during that time when President Kennedy was killed is dead. I think it's despicable. I think Joe Biden's ridiculous when he sits and lies to us like this and tells us they need more time and national security. If they told us the truth, if Lee Harvey Oswald did indeed kill John F. Kennedy, why would there be any of these documents needed need to be locked up? If you tell the truth, you don't have to lock up documents. The only time you lock up documents is if you're lying and not telling the truth. So it's clear the United States government continues to lie to the American people and wants to rewrite history and will not acknowledge that a coup d'etat took place back then in 1963, just as an attempted coup d'etat happened January 6th of this year.